what's up what's up guys it's your boy juarmu in today's video we are gonna bully people welcome back guys so in today's video literally we are gonna bully people uh i'm gonna do a bully champion spotlight and in my opinion he is one of the most fun heroes to play with in both pvp and pve not only is he a fish head unicorn fish head i would say no, he does a lot of damage, guys. This guy has insane, insane, insane damage. And I just can't... I'm going to show you guys. I mean, uh, these are the emblems I'm using right now. Uh, I am using the attack emblem because I already have 100% crit chance in my gear. As you can see here. So I swapped to the 6% attack. Otherwise, you could go this... Uh, i've placed this one a long time ago but i prefer the defense one so he's a little bit tanky as well um he does need all the exclusive to be really strong but overall also with exclusive one with exclusive two he's pretty strong but yeah these days sadly every hero needs all the all the three exclusive to be really strong i mean not not all for example you have Zonia who's great at exclusive one and two as well uh, and some of the other heroes but Nasil for example exclusive one only needed Asindo exclusive one only needed uh, Mamuk doesn't even need E3 to be honest but overall he is just a crazy 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 ass damage guy so this is my stats I have 47k attack uh, my speed is fairly low but I run him with Esther in the arena and space so he doesn't need to have big speed that's why I made this really slow 100% crit rate and 370% crit damage. These are big stats. Uh, but also without big stats, he can he can do a lot of damage in the arena. So I'm going to show you guys the gear. This is ba basically the, the gear that I actually have on him. So the slay set, double slay set. Uh, here we have a crit rate with some speed, attack, crit damage. Here we have a attack one with a lot of crit damage. And then we have here the speed one with a lot of crit damage and crit rate uh, i could even maybe get a full attack one in here because i run him anyways with esther but i'm afraid that will uh, mess the rotation uh i have done over 200 uh 20 arena battles in the past uh day because the arena classic competition is live as you can see i'm close to spot number uh, one i am gonna claim spot number one for sure uh i think i'm the highest in the arena as well mm, let's see the ranking yeah i'm a lot points away from number two and three uh this is my defense actually just a small sneak peek from 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 my as you can see here okay he managed to beat me twice but look at this one two three four five battles then two losses then again a lot of wins so it's going better than before uh popper kind of actually helped me um yeah let's 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 play with bull a little bit guys so let's just buy some tickets this is the team that i'm actually using i'm he does kind of need a synergy team so in this team he's actually really strong because of popper popper defense break the enemy and he just deletes the entire team just gonna show you guys a couple fights and then i'm gonna show him uh, in my uh growling team as well let's do it slow to see what he what they do okay popper will grenade the enemy boom everybody is defense broken she will give him the shield she will give him piercing look at this boom there we go and then again boom 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 he deletes everybody and the f the good thing about this team okay even if you face a really 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 strong brinhild if she killed your popper you will stun her and then after that you will just clean up i haven't lost a single fight yet i haven't lost a single fight yet so just look how it goes okay The good thing about this combination with Popper is he moves after my second fastest hero. She space boosted. He used his ultimate. 
he still has skill too. Now Popper goes. Now he buffs the defense. Now Esther will give him the direct damage. Will give him the piercing rate. And he will just delete everybody here. Really, really fun. Really fun to watch. Really fun to play with, to be really honest. I, I, I just enjoy this guy. And I'm so happy I got him two weeks ago. Imagine it. It was the X15 raid banner from Hezonia. I turned it off and I got both Hall 9000 and Bully. Both heroes that I actually wanted for a long time. Okay, now Bully will just delete them. Look at the damage, man. He's dealing like three stages of five of 500k damage. Boom, 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 boom. Brutal. Beautiful to see, man. Beautiful to see. Um, Let's hold on. Oh, we have the Faction Abyss. Actually... So I run him actually in the full defense team. Uh, is it needed? I don't know. I think let, let's see. Let's see. We could put we could put put Gora in there. Okay, Gora is equipped. Mm, Gora has also some pretty pretty badass stats. Let's do a couple of these hidden wave battles. Stage twenty five. With these guys. Mm, yeah, let's just do a battle really fast. Look at the rip on. He's gonna delete them. Yep. Look at the damage from this guy. He's freaking insane, man. Now just focus the boss. Oh, yeah. I do have to say, I do have a full boss layer aura on this guy. Okay. I do have the full boss layer aura on this guy. So... I do. I have it because I'm using him in PVE a lot. Uh, the piercing aura is most likely better, especially when, when like, I'm combining him with Esther. So when she gives him a shield, she, he will get a lot of attack from from it as well. So I think that aura is better. But if he, since he's also really useful in PVE, I do recommend this aura though. Look at the damage, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> 54 million compared to this guy with 6 point something. Let's let's see if we can actually beat stage 27. Mm, I'm going to do mech in here. And I'm going to do it manually. Okay, we're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. Ooh, we deleted them all. Ooh, this is a little bit nasty stage. Defense up. Uh, oh, we don't need a shield right now. Ooh, we are getting stunned, baby. Uh-oh, Mekin is dead. Yeah, I knew it. Let's try again. All right, maybe we should not one-shot this wave. Maybe we should one-shot the second wave. Look at all the freeze, man. Oh my gosh. Man, the bully bully is really slow. 
Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Come on, come on, come on. Haley, shield up the team. Actually, I could have ulted here before and then I would have had him again. But let's just see. Okay, wave two. We're going to delete this wave for sure. There we go, and now the boss. I think we can auto this. Oh man, my bully is gonna miss his first huge damage. I think I should. We, we should. We should do this actually manually. Damn, the damage is sick, man. Perfect. Shield up. No, Haley, you want to save your shield for later, baby. You want to... Oh, wow. Okay. That's it. We... Okay, 27 is a little bit hard. I think we need more defenses uh, in there. Damn, that was actually pretty nasty damage, not gonna lie. Okay, doesn't matter 26 is probably easy but i'm just gonna show you guys how i use him in the grawlin dungeon this is my team i actually use here just gonna run it to see to tell you guys as you can see here wave one deleted instantly wave two wrestler will stun here as you can see they are perma cc'd Again, they're dead. Now it's just gonna take a while because of these guys with the freaking immortality. They are perma CC'd. There you go. And now just the, the boss. Look at the damage. Look at all the damage, man. There you go. Easy run one minute 167 million i think i can even do growling 32 on auto battle with this team to be fairly honest with you guys yep i just perma cc it now it's just always these two guys remaining Okay, they're dead now. Look at all the damage. Piercing rate, look at this. Okay, he's at now counter attack, wristless attack, and his normal attack. There we go. Also one minute. So crazy team setup. Let's let's try. I, uh, did we clear two to three already? We didn't. Let's just try it. I haven't tried it yet with this setup. I gave uh Klee gave me this setup. He said like okay, this is my uh team. I use this team. Okay. Okay, we have revived. Okay. It's gonna be 
actually he we have full cc here yeah yeah we have full cc here so this is not a problem at all the boss is gonna be a problem either he's gonna one shot or we're gonna be lucky I think he's gonna one shot. Okay, he did AOE. We have the shield. Three times two and a half million damage, man. Three times one million. Look at all the numbers, Jesus. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, I know. I know what Growlin dungeon I'm gonna farm in a, in the next Growlin event. Damn, one minute sixteen. There we go. We got a Lego scroll as well. So <sighs> see, this is clear. He does use Nid Rolled and Set instead of this team that I'm using, but hey, I'm pretty happy with my team. I don't know how many turns I did. It did me to clear this one. Oh, here. We're at number four. We're at number four. Really nice. Okay, he's using the same team. Nash Macro, Marco. Uh, not sure about Marius, though. Look at all these little jacks. The biggest game changer in the game. Oh yeah, ne uh, Negia, is it possible? Negia has... Yeah, okay. For the Tower of the Mark. Oh, he's also really freaking strong for the Tower of the Mark. He could be using the Guild Boss, but I do prefer the other teams, to be really honest with you guys. Mm, let's farm. I think we could farm 20, 26 easily. Should just have to tee up. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some cool stuff about Bully. I think he's an amazing guy. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.